Hola YouTube, it's Darth Cobain 17 coming at you again. I hope everybody is having a fine Saturday morning. My Saturday morning has been interesting. I After I got up and did my morning exercises to stay uh, somewhat in shape, um, as middle age is, is a bit of a biatch for those who are nearing it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I went outside to a bit of an overcast sky, um, which was fine, and I thought I would vacuum the pool. Um, because there's been a lot of dirt in it because of a recent thunderstorm and stuff like that. So um, I went and did that and blew a fuse in the process. And then once I got that all sorted out, I vacuumed the pool. And just as I was about to jump in, the skies darkened and the rain started to fall. And uh, that's, yeah, that's how my Saturday's gone so far. But but uh, whatever, it, it's cool. It's supposed to be super hot tomorrow and sunny, I think. So um, I went for a swim anyways. But um, yeah, I couldn't quite enjoy the weather as, as much as I wanted to. But uh yeah, so today I got two things to mention. The first one, I just finished reading this last night, um, Star Wars Phasma. It's it's a bit of a, a dig into the backstory of Captain Phasma from the First Order in, in, in the latest two um, ep episodic movies or whatever, uh, The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. It uh, It's actually to told in an interesting fashion. It's uh, There's a, a resistance spy named Vi Moradi, and she's just come back from a mission, and uh, before she can get back to base, uh, Leia um, communicates with her and asks her if she can just zip by to this system uh, that's in the, kind of the near vicinity of where she is, and uh, and have a look around because there's reports of um, first order activity in the area. So, um, so she goes and does that, and and lo and behold, there's a whole whack of first uh, order ships there, and she gets caught in a tractor beam and. And taken in and captured by this uh, uh, captain in the First Order named Cardinal, um, who wears this uh, stormtrooper armor, but it's it's like bright red. And uh, he takes her secretly to this interrogation room, and his 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 main concern with with what he wants from from Vi is is information on Captain Phasma, as he wants to bring her down, um, which surprises her a bit, and and he he, he figures she's the one that he needs because uh based on where she has been where her ship ship log has shown that she's been he knows that she's been digging for information on phasma so so vi Moradi then tells cardinal kind of this long drawn out story that was told to her by this um old uh tribe mate i guess of phasmas uh from the planet they they grew up on called parnassos um at parnassos was a um, a planet that was taken over in part by this company called Constar, um, who produced they they mined stuff, they produced fabrics, they they had nuclear power, they, they they did a whole bunch of stuff, and they basically took over this planet like generations ago, um, in 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 efforts to produce all of their goods and and make it a community full of people that worked for them and make it this paradise, right? Um, but a nuclear uh, accident turned the planet to basically almost be inhospitable. So these tribes of these these ancestors of the people who worked for Constar were the ones who kind of survived over time and adapted to life on Parnassos, and uh, and just basically every day was just a, a struggle for survival. And then Phasma was one of these descendants, and uh, she was always a strong warrior. And uh, her and her and her brother Keldo r ruled this, um, in jointly ruled this their tribe called the Skyre. And uh, she longed to get off the planet and and bring her people to something better than just getting by every day. Whereas her brother was more of a play it safe. This is the way life is. Let's just be cool and stay here. Um, and then so then, uh, as she tells this story about. Um, Phasma, uh, General Hux's dad, Brendel, his ship crash landed on the planet, and um, w when he eventually was introduced to Phasma um, and told of all the medicine and life in the stars and all the technology and stuff like that, she was instantly drawn to have that life and, and escape with him so um they go on this long journey to find his ship and communicate to the first order and have them come down and pick them up so it's um so the whole story of their fight to get off the planet and stuff is just uh it just tells all about phasma's character how she grew up how she became the way she did and her true nature 
um, and, and and the reason Cardinals after all this information is he want he wants concrete evidence to 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 take to General Hux or or and ultimately Kylo Ren or whoever or Snoke or whoever uh, to bring her down because he thinks she's a menace and that and that her um, her disloyalty and her savagery will will eventually one day turn against the First Order when she is, no longer feels loyal to them. So so that's the story. So it's a lot of insights into Phasma's character and, and her past and stuff like that, which was very cool. Um, and uh, the other thing was um, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. I just finished playing this game last night as well. Um, my son James loves Minecraft, and I've just never gotten it. Um, Especially the the open world one, the ones where you just wander around and create stuff and whatever. I maybe it's because I'm 41 and I I'm not a child anymore. I've lost all my creativity. The the real world has sucked it all out of me. I don't know, but I've just I've never gotten the whole Minecraft thing right from the get go. Um, but the story mode games I I do enjoy uh, to some degree. Um, I I like uh, that there's something to do. There's objectives. There's there's a story that that you can follow along. Now it's just one of those games. It's it's a Telltale series games uh, game, so that you're just pressing buttons in certain sequences and making decisions on what your character says and the decisions he makes. So it's not really an action game or anything like that. It's more of like a movie slash TV show where you have some input, you know. Uh, but it's cool. I liked it um, in the second season here. So Jesse, um, after the f the first season where Jesse. And his friends um, saved their town from the Witherstorm and refound this Order of the Stone, um, who were a fabled group of heroes that saved the world before from uh, the Ender Dragon, I think it was. In this second season, um, Jesse reunites with Petra um, and uh, and goes on another adventure when he finds this um, what is it, a gauntlet or something like this, something that goes on the end of his arm and it's got certain kinds of powers or something like that. Um, and then this gauntlet is the catalyst for leading them on this uh, another world saving adventure where they run into this fiend named the admin um who's capable of basically blinking anybody out of existence at his whim um tearing down cities in the blink of an eye um he's just a bad dude with a bad bad attitude and, and jesse and uh, uh jesse's out to um, set to rights everything that this guy has has done wrong so um, along the way he he um, bonds with Petra you know some old friends from the first uh, story come back um, some new characters obviously come into play and um, and he has to forge alliances with with other characters that were never really his allies to begin with um, yeah, so it, it was a good game. It's uh, I don't know if there's a third season coming out or not, but if there is, I'll definitely play it. Um, it's definitely worth the uh, worth the look, especially if you can find it for cheap. I wouldn't pay any more than twenty bucks for for one of these these Minecraft games, but uh, I don't think they're that expensive to begin with. I don't remember. I think we got ours for twenty bucks, but uh, but yeah, definitely worth the play, especially if you're a Minecraft fan. If not. It might be worth checking out just the first season to see if it's uh, something that's in your wheelhouse. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. And um, I think that is all I have for now. And we'll see you next time.